Hello everybody and welcome back to another installment of Medieval Dynasty. So we've started to make quite a bit of progress here on our little village. We've got our tavern put together now. And we've got three, four houses. Uh, so we've got three villagers other than ourselves. We've got our food storage. We have our standard resource storage. They can see our barn off over there in the distance with a couple of fields. We're a little limited right now. Uh, we just have the two fields down for our cabbage. This is going to be our wheat field um, starting in the autumn. And yeah. So today we are going to try not to use too much time because we're on our last day of the season. But uh, today I want to get the smithy down so that we can start uh, creating some little bit better tools. Um, and let's see, we have five buildings left, so right now we do also have the, um, what is it? Wood mill, wood shed, or we got a guy out there chopping wood. Oh, he needs tools. That's important. Um, we have the hunting lodge with both a gatherer and a hunter there. Um, then, yeah, we already talked about the farming, the barn. Um, so we want to build a smith. Uh, we really want to be able to build a shovel. That's been really uh, limiting us on the amount of logs we can get because we can't get any of the stumps right now. So we definitely want to solve the shovel problem. Um, the other big thing that we're missing is an extraction shed for getting clay and more importantly right now getting stones. The stones are important because that will then, combined with the smith, allow us to have a villager who makes tools for our various resources so that we don't run into a tool problem um, anymore. Explains why we weren't getting logs. I guess I should have considered that. Um, I have an axe in my inventory. Let's go throw this in here really quick. Yeah, we're seeing we have no axes currently. We do have some stone in here. Grab 10 stone. Got plenty of sticks. We're going to make some axes just to secure that hole. Um, we definitely don't want our villagers not having any tools to do their job. It kind of makes them, well, not do their job. And we'd like them to keep producing stuff for us, especially logs. Logs and firewood makes our life a lot easier. Alright, one more axe to craft here. Then they'll be in much better shape. Yeah, see they've already grabbed that axe that we threw in there. Because they had nothing. We'll add four more. Maybe they have stuff to do their job with. Actually, just to make sure. We're going to make. Three more. This is the one. One production that I really don't want. To run out. Or don't want to stop. So much stuff uses. The lumber but then also the firewood we have autumn and then of course winter and they will go through firewood like crazy and i want to add so we've got five building slots left i want to add two more production buildings and then the other three slots i want to go to houses so i'd like to add three villagers before we get into winter um in order to do that we're definitely going to need uh, lots of firewood. All right, so the first thing that we want to put down is a smith. It's going to go right here next to the tavern where we destroyed the workshop because we needed the barn to get to our next level. Um, and smith is what I wanted anyways instead of a workshop, I found out. Workshop is for making like bowls and plates and buckets and stuff like that. Um, utility items, but also items that are needed for cooking and that sort of thing. Don't even have enough logs. So let's go just quick. And then the smith 
is used for making tools, so it's used for making the axes, and it's used for making a shovel. The shovel's the big, big thing that I really want, because all of these stumps become logs. And it will make me happy. Plus, we can't build where the stumps are, so... Kind of is holding us back a little bit from, you know, fully utilizing the land around us. Or we are almost done with the season here. We're starting to go into night, and that's going to be our last day. Now, if we look at our map here really quick, we got all of our quests done. There's none available at all. So we have completed... We've completed all the side stuff that we could have possibly done. Completed all the main story quests. Um, the only thing that we do have up right now is this big game hunt. And that we can do in the next season. It's not... It wasn't meant to be done already. I mean, that's just part of the story progressing forward. So once we cap out our, you know, 15 houses, then we're going to have to progress in the story to be able to do any more. I thought that rock was a boar. Scared me a little bit. There's a boar up there. All right, let's get this smithy down. I'd ideally like to get it built. That would be awesome. I want to go right over here. Nice open spot. Building production smithy. All right. Get down a road in front of it. organization purposes all right now we have our looks like we don't have yeah okay we don't have hammer the word i was looking for we have a hammer at all don't need the hoe others or and then you didn't really see it last time because we were already back here, but if we were to try and go anywhere right now, one, two, um, if we were to try and go anywhere right now, we would just be transported back here very shortly when the season ended, so we might as well stay here, try and get some work done before the season ends. Now, it doesn't really matter that much whether or not we have this done before we turn to winter. It's just one less thing to worry about. All right, we'll need a couple of logs. We need straw. I don't know if we have much straw left. Mm, definitely not. Okay. Grab that. I think we needed at least five logs, so... Take down the spruce tree. Wow. Got some really good aim with that axe right now. A little lightheaded swinging the rock around. That's really all it is. A rock on a stick. Can you imagine trying to chop with a rock on a stick? I mean, chopping with an axe is hard work already. Imagine if it was literally just a rock wedged in between some six with some twine. I mean, that is some serious, serious hard work. People go camping and think they're roughing it. I mean, imagine how it was 200 years before. Oof. The luxuries we live with today. All right. Get wall up. Be able to get one roof section done, I think. Yep. Get a log there. There. Just need straw. Oh, block there. Got one, two, three, four, possibly. Looks like maybe four sections. Four times eight, so 40. I don't know if we're going to make it. I think we will. I think we will. 
I'm not going to place any bets on it, but I think we're going to make it. Right. We have used quite a lot of these reeds. Thankfully, we will pretty soon be starting to uh, get our own hay. So we'll start doing, I think it's wheat in the autumn. Find out here shortly. But uh, once we start harvesting that, it'll be the start of us actually um, um, actually creating straw just naturally from farming will be really nice. And we're probably going to try and make some money in the next season, get some more seeds. That'll help us. Help us accelerate our farming a little bit. Really want to prepare for getting livestock in the spring. I think we'll, we'll have to look at timing with animal feed. Because I'll want to kind of get that going. Ideally before we have livestock. All right, we got 85 straw. That's plenty. Um, but animal feed gets really expensive really fast. So I'd like to secure that internally and not have to buy it would very much be ideal right we've used all of our energy that rebuild a little bit and i can see where the stamina hey there's the excavation shed right there it's one of the things i want to build too and Voila, there's going to be the smithy. All right, so we've got the forge here. We've got a chest as usual. We have an anvil. That's kind of new. I don't remember that being there. The forge for copper, tin, bronze, and iron. And we have the workbench for wooden tools, wooden weapons, stone tools, and stone weapons. Is there a stone shovel? Oh, but there's a stone hoe. That looks promising. A stone sickle I think we'll have to buy eventually for farming. Oh yeah, we can make stone spears. Buy some linen thread, but... That'll be great. Wooden tools. Wooden shovel. That's what I want. We are definitely buying you. And then we need two logs. Now what I think we have in here is exactly two logs. Of course, we gave him axes. We might have more now, but... Look at that. He hit an F1 instead of hitting escape here. Alright. Wooden tools. A wooden shovel. Oh, finally. Finally. I feel like... I feel like last time I played through, I had one way earlier. That might have been just because my weird priorities. All right, so let's go see how amazing this is. We have a stump. We shovel once, and there's a log. And there's a log. Every single tree we chop down now gives us plus one log. Why do you not want to come up? There we go. Just kind of a force multiplier. There's six. There's enough to build another house. We could put the house down. But I think we want to put down the excavation shed. Because that will be where the next villager works. Excuse me. Now one of their tools for the excavation shed is the shovel. And then the other tool is the pickaxe. Okay, we're carrying too much now, so we'll make a decision. Let's see here. If we go to buildings... 
and we go to extraction. And now we have an excavation shed. So workers employed here will provide stone, salt, limestone, and clay. Right? This is another one of the ones that we're going to put out in the woods here. I think we'll actually just put it near the hunting lodge. Watch out for those boars over there. Maybe I'll put it on this side of the hunting lodge. Yeah, I'll grab these stumps right here. Hope that a pig doesn't attack us because we can't run right now. We've got 17 stumps. All right. Building extraction excavation ship not very big doesn't take up a ton of room and the entrance is actually on the back side building or i guess the front depending on how you look at it i guess how i had it built before it was on the back side and this is like all logs as you can see it's like plank so even after all that log collection we do not actually have enough Shovel back out. Trying not to bring these boars over. Ah, there's the end of the season anyways. All right. So we are now into autumn. We're going to keep collecting stumps here. We're going to finish off this excavation shed, and then we're going to start building more houses. is also way faster than chopping down trees. Obviously, we'll run out of stumps eventually, but it will be nice to use them while we have them. Okay. Another one right here. Take the stone, because I seem to have trouble finding them all the time. Watch out for these boars. Don't want to be charged. Guess we'll need some straw for the roof too. I think I don't think it's uh Alright, so you got kind of a log cabin going on. Yeah, straw. Got quite a bit though. Also gonna need a new hammer. Ah. Very simple building, but it's very useful. Well, useful to have a villager assigned to it. Doesn't do much for us otherwise. All right, there's literally just a chest here. That is it. And that stuff though will still, just like everything else, will automatically deposit back into resource storage as they collect it. I think you can see by now how we're Getting this automation pipeline going to, um, you know, tools and all that kind of stuff. There. Do I even have my spears on me? I don't. I might spend some time hunting here so I don't have to worry about it too much. Alright, so there's six logs. We're going to put down another house, and I think we're going to do, we're going to change it up a little bit, and we're going to turn our houses, we're going to start going yeah, sideways with them. This house will face this way. 
And then we're going to put a line of houses. Going out this <laughs> Trees are so pretty. Gotta love fall colors, even when they're in a video game. What was that? Those are so hard to see. Oh, that's what they are. Every time I've tried to grab them, they've been kind of other under other stuff, so they've been really hard to spot. Now I'm seeing them everywhere, obviously. Okay. Oh, let's look at this. So, yeah, we got stuff new there. So we need to look at... Yeah, we have no employees there. Yep, that's correct. We're still building that. Um, we need to look at the hunting lodge. And if we look at the production queue, see she's got 70% put into berries, but we're gathering nothing because berries are out of season. Alright, there's no fast way to do this. I don't know why there's not. Okay, no berries. Can we get mushrooms? We can get mushrooms. So she's going to redevote her effort instead into mushrooms. That will get us a ton of mushrooms. And the other reason you want to keep firewood up is because they will technically use sticks and logs. But firewood is by far more efficient as far as how much wood it uses. And sticks and logs are used for so many things. The last thing you really want is for your villagers to be burning your logs and your sticks as firewood. But if you run out of firewood, that's exactly what they're going to do, because well, it's still flammable material. And I don't blame them. They're otherwise going to be freezing, so of course you're going to burn the sticks and logs. So you definitely want to make sure that you're not running out of firewood. Whether that means you have to go supplement the firewood and, you know, get a lot more going, or whether it means bit water over here. Oh, we got a level in survival. Um, do that really quick for a conversation here. Um, athlete. Yeah, definitely decrease stamina when running. Decreases travel time between cities by a lot. Um, but yeah, so you really have to pay attention to your firewood. I mean, you don't have to micromanage it or anything, but... It does something you want to watch out for. Last thing you want to do is come back and be like, oh yeah, okay, so I just expanded my number of buildings, so I got enough supplies by now. I'm going to go plop down two more houses and go recruit some more villagers, only to find out that you're completely out of all wood. Logs, firewood, sticks. And as the village grows, um... That's definitely something that can creep up on you. All right, so we got that house done. This house done. Send our road. One can have a little bit of a side yard as well as a front yard. Send our road back. This way. All right. Kind of those laid out. We have a lot of gathering to do if we want to do another house, so I think we're going to shift our attention here really quick. you getting this farm going for this season. Alright, so we can get rye planted. We can get wheat. 
plant it. We have 10 rye and 10 wheat seeds. That was always the intention with this field and one of these fields. Ended up with an extra cabbage field because we thought it was a different season. <laughs> You can see how quickly these seeds build up. So that'll actually be an opportunity for us to sell some seeds. Long term, make some money. Could probably sell some cabbage too. It were completely full. So if we look at the value here. Cabbage isn't worth too much. Worth three. Cabbage seeds are worth eight. We can sell them for like four a piece. We've got 32 cabbage seeds there. Then we have an additional. We only have one left because we used all of them. But either way, we only intended to have a patch of 10. And we have 33. So we have 23 seeds. We would sell if we wanted to. I don't know that I'm going to do that quite yet. But the option definitely exists. We have 28 pounds of cabbage. We don't have anything that's about to rot. So we can't rely on that to make our fertilizer. Oops, what did I just put away? My shirt. Give me my shirt back. Not Q, tab, please. Still getting used to this keyboard. All right, put your shirt back on. It's fall, you should be able to wear your hood now. All right, and we have points in survival. Oh, we have another one. We, we got two. I didn't realize it. Well, let's max that athlete. Now we should be able to run... Like, basically two sprints most of the way back to the... Well, we're a little further away now. Maybe like three sprints back to the... Back to the main town. Let's evaluate it really quick. So I know we have you. We're not using you very efficiently as a hunter. And we could actually use a better hunter. So they have good extraction... And we could turn them into the person working in the extraction shed. Whoops. And I want to check the extraction shed. Excavation shed. Excuse me. That needs a pickaxe and a shovel. We've got 109 roasted meat. We've got mushrooms being collected right now. Okay, you can see here's a good example right here. This mushroom is 50% poisoning with only two and a half food. Um, this one's 100% poisoning. And plus three food. Um, and this one's 50% as well. So you just got to watch the mushrooms. They provide a tiny bit of food, but then they end up poisoning you. Um, but good news is our hunter actually switched jobs. They're not that good at it anyways, but they have good extraction skills. So you're going to switch them to the excavation shed be a miner. They have better skills in it. Extraction three. You can see they were leveling up and hunting a little bit. Curious, actually. They do level up, so eventually they should hit level four. Yeah, they're just slow. Slow at working up in that. I do believe one of the skills in diplomacy is that your people level faster. Um, or mood reduction. 5% faster per Reduction. I'm 
Oh, maybe not. Thought there was a skill for that. It's possible there was. They did change up some of the diplomacy stuff. We have no one in the smithy, no one in the tavern yet. And we're lacking a hunter. So, ideally what we want... Double check in the smithy here. So... Two... Right here, okay. Showing us, we want the craftsman skill. And then for the tavern, actually don't remember. Also crafting, okay. So that's a crafting skill. They are crafting things. And we'll end up seeing in these villages, if we can find anybody that needs a home and is interested or has the skills to do that or hunting i guess we have um we have an open spot for hunting right now. the rabbit i think we're getting towards the end of the video uh i think i what i will do i will run back to town really quick let's drop off these logs and stuff We'll run back to town really quick, and we'll see if we can find any immediate villagers to join our cause, and um, expand our settlement. All right, so we're coming up into town here. Just about four sprints with our upgraded sprint. I think before it was probably taking us at least five or six, so that was a nice change. See the stars are out right now. It's definitely, uh, definitely nighttime. All right, let's see what we got here for people. Um, not a good hunter, good survival. Okay, hunter, okay, survival. Okay. Okay, hunter. No one is substantially good at anything here. Except for their skill at survival. And right now we have the gatherer already working on that. Yeah, there's no no desire to shuffle anything around. All right, let's grab quests really quick if we can. One of them can help you. Not only a person able to craft tools. You want tools made? What do you want made? New axe. Yep, we can do that. Out on the door there. Ah, okay. This is the start of the bow. This house? No? Did I look at the map wrong? Oh, he's still moving. Wait, why are you following me? What is it you want to do? Okay, we have to talk to Sam Bor. Our guy. Where's the man? Oh, there's the man that wants the axe. He oh, he wants to talk to this guy up here. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to run across the river. We're going to check this town right here. See if they have... Yep, 
check before we leave. Nah, it looks like they're asleep. To clarify, we're going to go check that town. And we're going to see if they have any recruits that we want. You're recruitable. Oh, hey, is she a three? She's a three. Hey there. Great. Find her house in just a minute. Also a three. What are you? Ooh, you're a three as a hunter. Hmm. Okay. That's good to know. Actually, wait. We'll come back to you. We still want you. We're going to actually recruit you first. This is much easier. Not having that metagame anymore of trying to... Um, trying to build up the reputation and stuff first. You have a house assignment. You have a house assignment. Okay, and then... What am I doing? Our two jobs that we need filled is we want someone in the smithy. We need a hammer. We haven't made that yet. Albrecht. That seems like a good name for a blacksmith. I like it. We're going to have to get him a hammer. And then for the tavern, we're going to sign Ultruda. Okay, and let's set. Right now, we can only do. Roasted meat. Literally all we have. We have not unlocked any other recipes. So 100% of their time in the tavern is going to be devoted to making roasted meat. Oh god, I just heard wolves. Just made the hair on my neck stand up. Don't see them anywhere. Oh, I see them now. map. Okay, we have to go straight this way. I hope we can outrun them. Okay, at least here it's a little more open. They're still after us. See them coming. As intense. As intense. What I get for making this run at night. Alwyn, can you... Can you move? Okay. There we go. Oh, man. Now, I can tell you what I really want to do. Is I want to go back and I want to recruit this villager. And then run back and build a house. Not a good idea. I've tried to do that before. And typically they'll get annoyed before you can even finish the house. And they'll leave. And I don't want to lose really good recruit. Addition. I don't know what to call them. New citizen. 
I don't want to lose a good citizen of our lovely little village. So, instead of risking it, once we're up there, um, instead of risking it, I'm going to... Instead of risking it, I'm going to go build the house first. Oh, it's a lynx. Be glad they haven't added wolverines or anything in. But yeah, instead of risking losing a potentially good citizen of our little town, we are definitely going to build the house first. They should not go anywhere as long as we get them this season. So there shouldn't be any refreshes in recruitable citizens for the end of the season. So I should, should I hope, be able to pick her up um, without them rotating. And then that will fill out our current um, citizen count. Because we'll run out of buildings. Unless somebody gets married. And that is definitely something we also should start thinking about. Like, you know, we should start considering uh, building up some affections. Trying to find ourselves a wife. It is medieval dynasty after all, so we do need to at some point start thinking about growing our own dynasty and not just our reputation. We're almost back to our village. I think I am going to um, essentially cut it when we get back here. I'm at an hour and 20 minutes of recording. I've been trying to keep these to about 30 minute episodes, but we've kind of gone non-stop in this one, so... I don't know, this might be a very long episode. I'm trying to leave them to reasonable watch lengths, though. That rabbit just scared me. Alright, so I think I'm just going to call it here. Um, all I'm going to really do is run back to... Run back to the town and save. Thank you all for watching please remember if you like the video to well, like and subscribe um you can also find us over facebook twitter twitch uh all of them at jaffner09 appreciate your support and anything you do even if it's just a like on the video is a great way to support the channel so I greatly appreciate it, and uh, I'm going to go back to paying attention to what I'm doing, because apparently I'm getting lost trying to get home. Ah, oh, there's a village across the river. We'll just swim there. See you later.